Two weeks ago, we had already tripled our aid to Gaza. Today, I can announce that we are further increasing the humanitarian aid to Gaza by another 25 million euros. By doing so, the European Union would spend a total of 100 million euro in humanitarian aid for the civilians in Gaza. And at the same time, we are working with Israel, Egypt, and the United Nations to let more convoys into Gaza, including through corridors and pauses for humanitarian needs. Aid is now entering through the Rafah border crossing, but the volumes remain too small to match the massive humanitarian needs in Gaza. Our priority is to work with partners to reinforce Rafa's logistic capacities, and at the same time, we are working on complementary routes. A maritime corridor from Cyprus, for example, that would guarantee a sustained, regulated and robust flow of aid. And I very much welcome the excellent cooperation with President Nikos Christodoulides and his government our union is the largest humanitarian donor to Gaza and we will keep pushing for our aid to reach civilians in need. This can make the difference between life and death for thousands of Palestinians. Supporting Israel is essential and aiding civilians in Gaza is essential too. The humanitarian situation is dire. The death toll and the suffering of Palestinian civilians is tragic. And as policymakers, we face a dreadful dilemma. Israel has the right to defend itself, while Hamas bunkers, hides fighters and stores weapons below refugee camps and civilian infrastructure. Hamas is clearly using innocent Palestinians and hostages as human shields. It is horrific and it is pure evil. And our hearts bleed at the images of small children pulled out from under the rubble. All of us, as democracies and as human beings, have a responsibility to do everything possible to protect civilians who are caught in harm's way. So while Israel has the right to fight Hamas, it is also essential that it strives to avoid civilian casualties and to be as targeted as possible. Because every human life matters, be it Israeli, or Palestinian. 